Today's educational game that I play is a fun chemistry puzzle about the types of plastics. Ah, plastics. Now, the people don't look at the plastics like when they were discovered. Because they allowed a lot of uh, easy and light things to be created. Here at the top I have uh, nine types of plastics and uh, some items that are made from them. I have to place them on the correct, correct chemical formula. And the recycling factor is one is where the plastic is uh, probably is possible to be recycled and seven is the plastics that are very hard to be recycled. So the first thing that I have I want to sort is the polyamides or this is the nylons. Uh, maybe the base plastic which is used to create fibers, bristles and tubings. Tubing. Now we see the formula of the plastic where this is the base formula. Uh, the plastics usually contain carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. And the N after the brackets is means that uh, this chemical compound is a sequence or it is repeating itself to create the the plastic. So, the next one that is more popular that I want to place is the polyvinyl chloride. This is the plastics that is used in the modern window frames and also pipes. And it contains one atom of chlorine. So, it has two atoms of carbon, three atoms of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine. And this compound is repeating in itself n times to create the polyvinyl chloride. The next uh, more popular is the polystyrene. It is used for containers, tableware, and disposable cups. Uh, container. Uh, a lot of computer <laughs> parts and other electronics comes with uh, that polysty polystyrene. Yes, I believe it is. <coughs> it is easy to remember. It is C8 H8. That is eight atoms of carbon and eight atoms of hydrogen. The next one is the polyurethane, the polyurethanes. This is a type of plastics that is used for foam sponge and cushioning foams. Now I know that the polyurethanes are with this big formula here. This is 27 atoms of carbon, 36 atoms of hydrogen, uh, 2 atoms of nitrogen and 10 atoms of oxygen. Again, in a row of n times. Another popular plastic is the polypropylene. It is used for bottle cups and yogurt containers. Uh, Yes, there it was. It is three atoms of carbon and six atoms of hydrogen, repeating itself a lot of times. And while while I'm there, I will sort the poly the polyethylene, <laughs> the polyethylene, which is again used for supermarket bags and bottles. And I think the Plastic Island is created by a lot of polyethylene. And here we have the polycarbonate. It is used for creating compact disks, very useful things for computer dudes. Well, 
in ancient times, that is, <laughs> and eyeglasses. I messed that. That should be 15 carbon, 16 hydrogen, and 2 oxygen. And uh, polyester. It is popular for making fibers and textile. Textiles like dresses. I think I have one dress of this type. And the polychloroprene. Now, I don't, I'm not very sure that it is a type of plastic. It is neoprene and it is used for, made in, for making special equipment, membranes and sleeves. Like this C4, H5, Cl. Like, uh, like the polyvinyl fluorid, it, have, it has one atom of chlor, chlorine. Well, I made it for 10 tries. This is almost A. But this is because I was practicing. And this is the knowledge dosage for today. And this is the last uh, chemistry game that I play for this year. <coughs> Next year I will continue with another chemistry game campaigns. But now there are a lot of other interesting subjects in this site, Planeta 42, that I want to, to play games from. And I will continue with a full playlist of math games, of course, every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Because the rest of the days of the week are meant for gaming, for video games.